Hey guys, Chase Rolfson, 1791 Gun Leather. You no longer have to pick a specific holster to a specific firearm to a specific light to be able to have that perfect fit on a light bearing or other accessory on your firearms holster. For this example, I'm gonna be using my SIG 320 X Carry with a light accessory and an optic and the new family member to the Ultra Custom the light bearing. So first, let's get into what's inside the box. Of course, you've got your holster here. Then we're gonna pull this tray out. Inside here, of course, you've got your plastic bag. Real simple, pull that out. The instructions are right there. Secondly, you're gonna see some screws and this, what I call a rail plate, but this here, this is gonna be a replacement if you're happening to mold this with a narrower slided firearm. We'll get into that. But you can see on the 320 that I'm going to be molding this with, it's a little wider slide. So what it ships with is this wider plate. If your firearm has a narrower slide, you're going to utilize this one here. And that's where these shorter screws are going to come in handy. And then, of course, the multi-tool. Not only great for molding with this end and this end, but you've also got your channel tool here. So you'll see that in action in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and get my holster in there. And like I said, I really like to use some weight. For me, it just kind of speeds up the process a little bit. It makes sure that that holster is really getting nice and, and heated up all the way through. Because of course, anytime you're trying to put something into water, it's going to want to float. So just keep that in mind. Any weights around the house, uh, the bag seals up good. So as long as you get that sealed, you're not going to get anything wet. We're going to drop that in there. Make sure you get your water at about 165 degrees. Um, that's gonna be perfect for about eight minutes. Remember, you're gonna bring that temperature down a little bit when you drop that holster in, let it come back up. About eight minutes at 165 degrees. We're gonna pull that out, it's gonna be perfect. So now that eight minutes has passed, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out and get started. As I pull this out, you can see the leather is just extremely pliable. All right, so, Guys, it is important. Make sure your firearm is unloaded. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and close that slide because as I put this in, my slide is going to go right along this railing that you can see here. No matter what size light, almost, every light's going to fit within this holster. So, now that I've got my firearm unloaded and inserted, I'm going to get to molding. Now, the beauty and what has made the Ultra Custom so popular is the fact that the shooter can determine, one, what their custom fit looks like. How much retention do they have? How much definition do they want in their holster? Those are all things that you can attribute to the beauty of the Ultra Custom and their memory lock technology. Now, I'm gonna use this tool and slide it in to certain areas that I wanna make sure are completely friction free when I go to pull through that draw cycle. Every light is different and that's part of the beauty of this Ultra Custom is I can actually channel certain areas and I can tighten up certain areas to make sure that that draw sequence is fit for me. Working around that trigger guard. So as I get that perfect fit and that memory lock starts to cool, my holster is gonna retain the shape that I've molded. So it's been about 10 minutes since I finished working that holster in. Now, I've let it cool. That 10 minutes gives that memory lock technology the ability to cool down and actually lock in place, and that's the real beauty of it. Now, you'll notice, as I let that cool with this particular mold, I left that tool inserted. Now, there's a reason why, and I'm gonna show you here as I pull that out. I've got just the right amount of tension for my particular draw comfort, but the reason I had that tool in there is that you will see on this particular light that I've chosen, that attachment, it protrudes a little bit. That's the best part about that tool is I can get in there, work around those hang-up areas for a smooth, consistent draw. So I left that tool in there. That way when it cooled, I've created that channel. And a lot of lights you're not gonna have that problem with, no big deal, you don't need to use it there. On this particular light, I did. So wherever you might have a little hang-up, use that tool, create that groove, and you're gonna have a smooth, consistent draw. So. Let's go ahead and reinsert that. I love showing you guys this and just how awesome this holster is. I just love putting that firearm in there 
and just seeing the amount of retention that's still there, yet I still have such a smooth draw cycle. Um, I was able to create that to my comfort level. Now some guys I know when they mold, they really like to pinch that trigger guard in there and kind of create some channels um, for a super tight fit and that's okay. Other guys I know don't do a ton of molding. They do very, very little because they like a loose draw. Um, for me, I'm about right in between and that's the best part about it. Once you mold it, if you don't like it, go back and repeat the steps. You added a different light, no problem. Go back, repeat the steps, heat it back up and remold it. This thing is so versatile. I'm excited for you to check it out along with the rest of the Ultra Custom family, the inside the waistband, the outside the waistband, and then of course the new light bearing. Check them out and all the other holsters at 1791gunleather.com.